We're going to be talking about the general power rule this time when this video is set. And the general power rule is if the function of f is differentiable and h of x is equal to f of x raised to the n power and n is a real number, then h prime of x is equal to the derivative with respect to x with f of x raised to the n is equal to, now here's the power rule, right? So the power rule being taken in effect by taking the derivative of the outside function and the inside function standing fast and then multiplying it with what? The derivative of the inside function. Now, to see this, we observe that h of x is equal to g of f of x, where g of x is equal to what? x to the n. So that by virtue of the chain rule, we have h prime of x is equal to g prime of f of x times f prime of x. And it equals to here, this is the relationship where, again, you're taking the derivative of the outside function and with the inside function standing fast and then multiplying the derivative of that inside function. And it says g prime of x is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. Now, let's do a couple of problems. Let f of x equal to 3x plus 1 squared. Find f prime of x using the general power rule. So, we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 squared. Now, what we're going to do is take the derivative of this what? Of this outside term. So this becomes what? By the power rule, 2 comes down. Of course, 2 minus 1 will be subtracted accordingly. So that makes that exponent 1. This 2 is here. So the inside of this function will stand fast, will stand as it, stands, as it is. And now we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of this inside function here. So this is going to become what? That's going to become 3. So we have 2 times 3x plus 1 times 3, and that simplifies to 6 times 3x plus 1. Get a nice little look at that. Some good notes, some good steps here. And so actually we're going to work a problem and do some guided practice here. Look at this problem. So f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 2 raised to the third power. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to re let's rewrite this. And this will be f of x is equal to what? 2x squared plus 2 raised to the third power. And then what we do here is we'll take the derivative of the outside term here, that prime of x. So that's going to become 3, all right? 3, this 3 is going to come down. This is going to be 3 actually minus 1, which will become 2. And of course, the inside function will stay the way it is. You see that? Now, we're going to do the derivative of the what? Of the inside function, right? So inside right here. So this is going to be 2x squared plus 2 right there. So what that's going to be, we're going to rewrite this, and this is going to equal to 3 times 2x squared plus 2x squared now. What's the derivative of this function here? It's going to be what? 4x. So now when we simplify this, this is going to become 12x times 2x squared plus 2 raised to the second power. That is our solution for that problem. Now, let's look at this one. This one is, is really one of those exponential functions, you remember? And so what I want to do is I want to copy down a relationship real quick so you can see. And what's going to be is that I'm going to say that the derivative with respect to x such that we've got so the e to the f of what? x, right? is going to equal to e to the what? e to the f of x 
times, and we're going to try to take the derivative of f of x, f prime of x right there. So I'm going to show you basically how this works right now. g of x is equal to e to the x squared. We're going to let f of x be x squared. So in this case, what's going to happen is we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of this function, and what we're going to do is we're going to what? The derivative of the outside term of this function is going to actually be e to the x squared. And we're going to take the derivative of the inside function, which will be considered what? f of x right here, which is going to be x squared. We're going to take the derivative of that. So e to the x squared, and what's the derivative of x squared? It's going to be 2x. So when we're done with this, the actual solution is going to be 2x times e to the x squared. That is our solution for that problem. Let's do a couple more problems. Before we start doing the problems, let me just basically go over some general derivative rules. Well, with the derivative with respect to x, if you have a function here, f of x raised to the n power is equal to, and we've kind of talked about this, where we have the derivative of the outside function with the inside function standing fast times the derivative of the what? Inside function. And then, of course, now we're dealing with the natural log, the natural log of f of x, and when you take the derivative of that, that's going to be 1 over, say, f of x times f prime of x, you see. And of course, what we just talked about a few minutes ago with the derivative of e to the f of x is equal to e to the f of x times f prime of x. The derivative of, of with respect to x is e to the 2x. And that's going to equal to e to the 2x. Remember, anything e to the x is e to the x, right? The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And of course, the derivative of e to the 2x in this particular case is going to be, initially, it's going to be e to the 2x. But now we got to do something extra here because that's the inside considered, 2x is considered the inside function. So we're going to take the derivative of 2x right here, you see. So with that in mind, we'll say e to the 2x times, what's the derivative of, two, derivative of 2x? And the derivative of 2x is going to be 2. So the derivative of 2x is going to be 2, and so that's going to leave us with an answer, a solution of what? 2 times e to the 2x. So that is our solution for that problem. And let's go to number 2. Number 2, we have f of x is equal to the natural log of x squared plus 9. And when we take the derivative, of course, we're looking at this property. So we're going to take the derivative of the natural log x squared plus 9, meaning that's kind of like the outside of the function, right? And so that's going to be 1 over x squared plus 9. And we're going to take the derivative of the inside here, which is x squared plus 9, and that's going to leave, you, leave us with 2x. So 1 over x squared plus 9 times 2x is going to give us what? a final solution of 2x divided by x squared plus 9. So that's our final solution here for this problem. Let's put an arrow there. That checks off. Let's talk about number 3. We want to what? We want to basically take the derivative of this outside here. So we're going to say the derivative with respect to x here of 1 plus e to the x raised to the e to the x squared, raised to the third power. See what I'm saying? So we're going to actually take this derivative here, which is going to be 3 times 1 plus e to the x squared raised to the what? Second power. Remember? Power rule. All general will see this right here. This is what we're using this property here, basically, right? So then we'll take this there over here, bring this here, 3 times 1 plus e to the x squared raised to the second power, and we'll take the derivative of the inside term only. 1 plus 
e to the x squared. See what I'm saying? So, and when we do that, 3 times 1 plus e to the x squared, after we took the derivative of this, of pretty much the, the outside term here, and we bring this here, now we're going to take the, the derivative of the inside of this term. So the derivative with respect to the inside term only. So this is going to be 3 times 1 plus e raised to the uh, x squared, if you will, to the second power. So let's raise up. So reading this again, 3 times 1 plus e raised to the x squared raised to the second power times the derivative of this function. Now, be careful because this function here, you're going to have to do some things here with, right? So basically, you're going to say the derivative of this, which is actually going to be e to the x squared, right? So the derivative of that, and then we're going to go time, and then we're going to actually take the derivative of what? Of x squared right there. We're going to do that. So we have to consider that, doing that, so because this is, we're using the general power rule here, understanding that what this property is for just this piece right here. So now what we'll do is, we'll continue to write our problem out. And so this will be e to the x squared times the derivative of that times what? 2x. So now, as we get this together, this is going to end up being what? 6, 6x, right? 6x. And this is going to be e raised to the second power times 1 plus e to the x squared raised to the second power. So this is what we'll have, 6x times e to the x squared times 1 plus e to the x squared raised to the what? Second power. So this is how we talked about doing the general power rule and also we talked about the general derivative rules as well. And so we're coming back at you with some more derivative problems in, in future videos, and we'll see you later.